Hello, in this video, we're going to solve a system of equations. We have three equations with three unknown variables. x plus 2y minus z equals 1, x plus z equals 3, and 2x minus y plus z equals 3. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So there's a bunch of ways to solve systems of equations. In this particular case, the second equation you'll notice is already missing a y. So one idea is to eliminate the y in another one of the equations. So let's maybe take um, the first equation and the third equation. Let me number them. One, two, and three. And let's also eliminate that y. So let's multiply this third equation by two so that this negative y becomes a negative 2y. And then we can add it to the first equation to eliminate the 2y. So multiply 3, so equation 3, by 2. That's what we're going to do first. So when we do that, we get 2 times 2x, which is 4x. 2 times negative y is negative 2y and two times z is two z. And that's equal to two times three, which is six. Let's go ahead and write down equation one right below it. So we have x plus two y minus z equals one. And now we can add these two equations and we will eliminate the y variable. So adding, we have 4x plus x, which is 5x. These go away. 2z plus negative z is just positive z. And this is equal to 6 plus 1, which is 7. So now we have two equations with two variables. We have this one up here, x plus z equals 3. And the one we just created, 5x plus z equals 7. So let's combine those two and keep going. So we have x plus z equals 3. And then we have the equation that we just came up with, 5x plus z equals 7. And so now we can get rid of the z. If we multiply this first equation by negative 1, we would get minus x minus z equals minus 3. Just writing it down here, just flipping the signs. And now we can add these, so we get... 4x, these go away, and then 7 plus negative 3 is 4. And this is where things get really good because we can divide by 4, and we see right away that x is equal to 1. I'm going to put that in a box because that's an accomplishment, right? We found uh, one of our variables. So now what you can do is plug this back in to this equation to find z. When we do that, we get 1 plus z equals 3, and then we can subtract 1 from both sides. That's going to give us z equals 2. So now we have x, we have z. Let's go ahead and plug it into the first equation to find y. So we have x is 1, z is 2. So instead of x, I'm going to put 1. So 1 plus 2y. We don't know what y is. We have to find it and then minus z, but we know z is 2. And that's equal to 1. Again, just putting a 1 here where the x is, and a 2 where the z is. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so we have 2y minus 1, and that's equal to 1. And you can add 1 to both sides. So we get 2y equals 2. Then just divide by 2, and so we get y equals 1. So now you see we have x, y, and z, and we're done. So the actual answer is an ordered triple. It's a point in space. It's of the form x, y, z. So it would be parentheses 1, and then y, so 1, and then z, so 2. And this would be the final answer to this problem. Hopefully this video has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck.